Hello guys, and I played every killer a few times to decide and to see which is the best killers to farm blood points most efficiently. What is, does it mean to farm blood points efficiently? Why I can't just, uh, you know, pick barbecue and chill on every killer and uh, farm blood points? Efficiency means that you make as much blood points in the less amount of time as possible. So what is the test conditions that were used? Uh, actually, I used the barbecue and chili on every killer, but uh, you can, uh, you know, see this as the perk that uh, doesn't affect any of the conditions because I take into the calculation only the raw amount of blood points that killer makes in the end of the game. So I don't care how much, uh, you know, uh, bloody party streamers I get every game, it doesn't really matter. Uh, most important thing I used almost on every killer hex no one escape death and no way out to finish games uh, uh, and uh, you know like testing ability to finish games but uh, most important thing is that no slowdown perks so basically it uh, we playing like find one survivor hook him find uh, another one on the other you know side of the map with barbecue and chili and to just to go and uh, hunt for him finish the game with know it or don't finish and all uh, all all, all kills was played with uh, add-ons that don't really affect too much them so uh, it's uh, brown add-ons uh, that don't affect the game because uh, some killers can use a decent add-ons to win every game and you know you can say yeah 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 come on i farmed every game very good amount of blood points but uh, does it matter if you spent uh, two decent add-ons to do so so without further ado Let's go. This is a table that I got and uh, this is calculations that I made. So uh, every game I put the number of blood points that I got, uh, the number of minutes I played and I did the free games with all the killers and now I sorted it by blood points total. So basically when you ask someone what is the best uh, killer to farm with, many will tell you it's legion dude legion is the best killer in the game uh and the doctor doctor is really really cool and yeah yeah as you can see the doctor gains uh 83 000 blind points 83 000 blind points in free games it's pretty big uh, amount almost like legion legion a little bit more but uh, what is most important thing the players are missing the game duration is different so for example i started with trapper and i played three games but uh, because trapper need to you know go through the map collect uh, his traps put his traps uh, i play versus very good survivors and they actually finish the generators really really fast and my games was like seven minutes eight minutes maximum and in these games i earned only like 15k 17k blood points so the uh, total amount is 56k blood points for the trapper but it's in the average duration of eight minute games the doctor it's 12 minutes so if we make the calculations actually the trapper can arm far more than doctor based on the time that you spent in the game and the funny thing that uh, on trapper actually you can use uh, perks like distressing or something like this to increase your blood points for deviousness category and get even more blood points so what is my numbers that i found the you know like average game duration from the, all the games i played is 10 minutes and average blood points per one game is 24,000. So I need to find the killers that have the lowest possible game time and the highest possible blood points that uh, they earning. And funny, funny, funny guys. It's actually Cannibal. Uh, Cannibal is funny because he wasn't winning many games because without uh, any any slowdown perks, uh, I was forced to camp hooks. And versus Cannibal, they not going to save many times. You know, when they see someone like uh, on the row, maybe uh, Sadako, they think that uh, they can save guys from hook. It's end game already and they got like one stage hook stage from one person 
only. And the rest is cannibal, no one going on hook. They know that <laughs> if you go to the cannibal that is face camping, you will die. So games was fast, but uh, the blood point cap is 70 hundred average. That means that per hour, per hour, you get 140,000 blood points. If you play in cannibal, so if you play in with distressing and etc, uh, etc, et you can uh, bump this amount a lot, but without uh, having too much gain time. But okay, which is uh, which one is the top five healers that uh, farm as much as possible? So for example, <laughs> let's just stop a little bit and I tell you which which one is the worst one. Demogorgon. Demogorgon twins. Uh, these guys I just have uh, really games that uh, long. Uh, they at least at least tw 12 at least 12 minutes, but uh, most of time it's uh, almost 20 minutes of games, and they hit the cap of the blood points because there's the cap uh, of 8,000 uh, in each category. Uh, they hit them really fast, so no point to farm with uh, Demogorgon. And if you play Demogorgon, if you play three hours a day with barbecue and chili. In one month, I mean, in one week, in one week, you will get 4 million, 5 million, or 0.5 million blood points. But if you play another killers that you will hear just a few seconds, you can earn as much as 6.7 million blood points. So you missing like 2 million blood points per week if you're playing like 3 hours a day. If you're playing the killers that play long the games like Demogorgon. Killers that uh, not earning too much blood points even after winning the games in like 10 minutes uh, like Spirit. So guys who earn 6.7 million blood points, there's three guys and you won't believe. This is not a doctor. Doctor earning only like 5.6 million blood points, but uh, he, uh, you know, average uh, 30k every game. So the best killer is Hack. Hack is actually insane. Funny part uh, that uh, you just place as many traps near the hook as possible. And while the guy going to save someone, you teleport to him. He will, you know, trigger some traps. And you gain very, very, very many blood points for this in diverseness category. And of course, you gain a really, really fast chase, fast hit. So brutality category, all categories is going very high, very fast. Fast. Games really fast too because Hack need to set up like Trapper, but she don't need to go through the whole map, so it's not too fast as a Trapper. She can prolong the games a little bit. She can defend the hooks a little bit better than Trapper, etc., etc. So Hack is the best farmer. The second place goes for the race. I don't know how this working, but race is actually uh, got uh, really fast games too and uh, got pretty much blood points in them. But race is average. Uh, 23,000 blood points. This means that uh, you can, you know, bump up a race with something like maybe thrill of the hunt or maybe distressing and bump up these categories and uh, still play the eight minute games and gain very, very, very many blood points. And uh, he can even, uh, I mean, I think he can outperform the hack because uh, hack average uh, 27,000 for me, so almost at the cap. And third place goes to the black. Interestingly enough, uh, black got some blood points even for using her vomit, basic vomit on the patients. And uh, she got blood points in the two categories. She got diverseness <coughs> and for injuring uh, she got brutality category. So uh, black is really fast games many blood points. If you want to know the next killers in the list, I will tell you your top 10. So we got top 3, Hack, Race, Black, then we go Nemesis, Legion, Cenobite, Nightmare, Artist, Peak and Trapper. So this is the top 10 killers to farm blood points most efficiently. But if you want some good build for blood points or maybe know how to farm them, uh, just watch another of my videos that is on the screen, good videos, so yeah, press like button please.